Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss about SR and RR conflicts in LR0 items and LR1 items. In my previous videos, I have discussed about how to construct the LR0 items. From LR0 items, how to construct the LR0 parsing table and SLR1 parsing table. Similarly, I have discussed how to construct the LR1 items and how to construct the CLR1 parsing table and LLR1 parsing table. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video for better understanding. In this one, I want to discuss about SR and RR conflicts. What is SR conflict? Which is shift. S yes, stands for shift. R stands for reduce conflict. Conflict is nothing but a problem. Okay. And similarly, we have RR conflict, which is reduce, reduce conflict. Okay. Now let me discuss in terms of LR0 items. Then I will discuss with LR1 items. Let me discuss with LR0 items. Let's take that first. Let me discuss about SR conflict. If I have A determines some A dot some A is there. Okay. Then I have B determines some B dot is there. Something is there. This is my some item. Let's take that some IX. Okay. This is my sum of the item. In that item, these are the productions are there. A determines A dot A, B determines B dot. Now, what will be the go to? On A, you will write sum A determines A, A dot. Am I right or wrong? And this is a reduced move. We will not. Let me make this one as IY item. Now, what I can say, this is a shift item and this is a reduced item. Now, when I am constructing the table of LR0 table. First, let me discuss about LR0 table. Okay. If I am writing the entry as IX and in the action part, okay, and in the go to part, we will have, let me take that in action part, I have the terminals as A, B, dollar. Okay. Now, the IX will look as, now if you look at it, IX on A, I will write it as IY meaning is that shift to y. I hope it is visible for you. Let me erase it and draw it again. I x on a is going to i y. So, I will write here s y. Am I right? And as it is a reduced move, let us take that this production number in the grammar is some r 2. Okay. Am I right or wrong? Because it is a production number. If it is a production number is r, production number is 2. Then I will write it as a reduced move where I will write in all the action part. Am I right? Means in all the terminals of the action part. So I will write here as R2, R2, R2. Now if you look at here, in a single entry, we have two entries as SY and R2. If any table consists of more than one entry at a location, then I can say that this is a conflict. Am I right? So, what is this conflict as there is an S shift and there is a reduce. So, we will call it as a SR conflict. Are you able to understand? This is an example of SR conflict in LR0. Let me discuss the same case if I am writing it as a SLR1 parsing table. What is the difference between LR0 parsing table and uh, L SLR1 parsing table. What is the difference between SLR1 and LR0 parsing table? Where we have to keep the reduced move. If it is LR0, I will keep it in the all the terminals in the action part, the reduced move. R2, 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 I kept. Whereas in SLR1, I need to compute the follow of B. If the follow of B, whatever we get, let's take that the follow of B, I got it as A comma B from the given grammar. Are you able to understand from the given grammar, I got the follow of B as A comma B. Then where I should write the reduced move? In the terminals A comma B. Let's take that 
in the terminals A and B only I have written the reduced move and shift move will be same i x on a i need go i'm going to i y so i'm writing as s y so again you got a sr conflict are you able to understand only difference is that you need to compute the follow and if the follow is whatever you are getting the terminals there only you have to write the reduced move so there is an sr conflict possible in both lr0 and slr1 now let me discuss about rr conflict in LR0 items. Let me erase this one. Let me discuss about RR conflict which is a reduced reduced conflict. I have a A determines A dot. Similarly, I have B determines B dot is there. This is a two productions are there in some item IX. Now let me discuss about LR0 parsing table. We will have the items as IX and we have the action part and we have the go to part. Okay, the go to part I will not worry because in the action part only there is a chance of SR and RR conflicts. I have the terminals as A and B. I will write the extra dollar. Am I right or wrong? Is it clear? Now, where I will write the reduced move? Let's take that this is production number one and this is production number two. If it is LR0 parsing table, I will write it in all the terminals entries such as R1, R1, R1. Similarly, R2 also I will write here, here, here. Am I right or wrong? So, we have a more than one entry here, here, here. So, I can say that it is an RR conflict. Am I right? Because there is a reduced move, there is a reduced move. So, then in, in that case what I can say the given grammar cannot be parsed using LR0 parser. Am I right or wrong because any entry you should have only one thing. Suppose if IX on R1 is alone there then meaning is that IX on A I should perform the reduce. But if I have two entries should I reduce the production number one or should I reduce the production number two there is an ambiguity is there. Am I right or wrong. So we will call it as a RR conflict. If it is same thing is happening in the SLR1 parsing table, how I will write it? How I will do? Can you tell me? I need to compute the follow of A and I need to compute the follow of B. If the follow of A and follow of B intersection if I am doing, if I am not getting 5, if I am getting 5, then I can say that there is no RR conflict. If I am not getting phi, then I can say that there is a RR conflict is possible. Let's take that follow of A is A comma B. Follow of A is A comma B. So then I have to write the reduced move in A and B. Are you able to understand? And similarly, I computed the follow of B. I got the B. Am I right or wrong? So the R2, I will write it here. Am I right? Now, if you see that which is not equal to phi because there is a common one B, so at B you will get the RR conflict. Are you able to understand? So, there are possibility of SR conflict and RR conflict in LR0 and SLR1. If you are getting those conflicts for a given grammar, then you can say that that grammar cannot be parsed using LR0 and SLR1. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Now we will discuss this SR conflict and RR conflict with respect to, to the LR1 items. With respect to, to the LR1 item. I think by this time you can understand the difference between LR0 item and LR1 item. LR1 item is equal to LR0 item plus look ahead. What is the use of this look ahead? If you get a reduced move where you should keep the reduced move that you will understand with the help of this look ahead. Suppose let's take that I have a production A determines B dot some A comma B is there. Then this reduced move you have to write it in the action part where the terminals A and B are there. So that is the meaning of the look ahead. Now we will discuss the SR conflict first in the LR1 
then we will discuss about rr conflict so first let me discuss about sr conflict okay there is a shift move a determines a on b is there is it clear are you able to understand it or not and you have the what you call here you have the a or b let's take that you have a b determines b dot okay and you have the a is it clear now if you look at here okay there is like this is there don't worry now if you look at here this is some item ix now ix on b what i will do go to part a determines a b dot a or b i will write this one i will make it as iy and this is my reduced move now this reduced move where i will write i will write it in the only look ahead a now you check it whether it is sr conflict or not first let me discuss whether it is sr conflict or not in the item ix i will take the action part and i will take the go to part let me take my terminals are a comma b only and i have the dollar okay are you able to understand it or not now ix on b what i will write i am going to iy so i am calling it as sy here now this reduced move where i should write let's take that this production number is 2 so i need to write r2 only in the terminal a now look at whether it is a sr conflict no why you have a shift in the b you have a reduced in the a so this is not a sr conflict let me discuss the situation here like this if it is happened now if you look at this reduced move you are supposed to write at the a and at the b so now i am writing this reduced move r2 here now what is happening there is a sr conflict so from this item we on go to on b where you are going and this reduced move is also consists of look ahead b then there is a chance of not chance there is a sr conflict are you able to understand it or not let me discuss again go to on what you are doing and even the reduced move consists of that look ahead then there is a sr conflict are you able to understand it or not is it clear so now we will discuss about r r conflict okay let's take that a determines a dot i have the look ahead a similarly b determines b dot i have the look ahead a and b now this is my item ix then when i am constructing the table what i will place either it is l r 1 l a l r 1 or c l r 1 i will write ix and i will have the action part in the action part let's take that i have a and b and dollar then this reduced move let's take that this is the production number 1 this is the production number 2 from the given grammar then i will write the r1 here am i right or wrong and why because the look ahead is only a the reduced move i need to write it in a only now this production number r2 i need to write it in the a and also in the b now if you look at there is an rr conflict is it clear so if the look aheads are same means for if the look ahead of the production number 1 and this one intersection if you are doing if you are getting 5 then you can say that it is not a rr conflict are you able to understand this look ahead and this look ahead if you are doing intersection if you are getting 5 meaning is that let's take that this is on dollar now tell me whether it is an rr conflict you will obviously you will say that r1 will not be here r1 will be here now there is not a rr conflict are you able to understand i hope with this example you have understood what is shift reduce conflict what is rr conflict and how it will come in the lr0 items and in the lr1 items if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching my video have a nice day